Welcome to my week 19 pregnancy update. So this week was a mixture of some not so good, but plenty of good. Um, so kind of a mixed bag, but uh, I'm going to start with the not so good so that we can end on a positive note because I have some super exciting stuff to share um, about what we saw at our halfway ultrasound appointment. So. To get started with the not so good, um, I actually, for the first time this entire pregnancy, got sick this past week and that sucked because <laughs> I was not expecting it at all. I went to bed feeling fine, woke up feeling like not so great in the middle of the night, um, tried to go back to sleep and had to make a run for it to the bathroom because I just couldn't keep down what was in my stomach. Um, I was really nervous that it was going to be like flu, something like that, because the flu has just been awful this season. So like, I got sick and I'm like waiting for myself to still feel really nasty after I got sick. But thankfully, like after I got everything up, <laughs> this is so gross, after I got everything up, I felt better and like I felt fine. Like for a second I was like, do I have a fever? Like what's wrong with me? And I was like kind of just like taking like mental notes about like how I was feeling because I was really scared that I was gonna have the flu or like some sort of stomach virus. Um, but in the end, I'm like 99% sure that it's acid reflux because this has been a new thing where even if I drink water, like I start like to burp. Like anything I eat, like I just feel like it just doesn't go down as easily. And that mixed with like stomach acid like coming up, <laughs> It's just not been a good combo, so I've definitely been struggling with that. So that happened on Wednesday night. So like the night going into me turning 20 weeks pregnant. So of course, like I had just been talking to people at my work saying, I felt totally fine this whole pregnancy. Like I haven't been sick once. And of course, like karma caught up with me and I get sick. <laughs> So it took me a couple days to actually start feeling like okay again like the next day I really didn't want to eat anything like it just like my stomach was still really sensitive um, and I was also just really nervous to eat anything because I didn't want to get sick again um, and then also um, I've been trying to just remember not to eat so close to bedtime because I think a big part of it was I ate like a good amount of food pretty late and then went to bed and laid like pretty flat um so i think um trying to avoid eating close to bedtime and then also sleeping in a more propped up position um i've been doing that the past couple nights and it's not that comfortable but um i'm feeling better like today is the first day where i haven't woken up feeling like i had like i don't know just like stuff like in here going on <laughs> I don't really know but so it's helping to sleep in a different position um and just hopefully I don't get sick again because that was not fun at all and um just also trying to be mindful of what I'm eating um trying to just pick up on anything that makes me feel especially like gassy or like triggers like acid reflux or anything like that so just trying to be really mindful because I don't want this to be something that haunts me for the last half of pregnancy. So um, that's really just the, the worst part of this past week has been that, that came out of nowhere. Um, I've been feeling pretty good for the most part. Um, I've been going to the gym more regularly, so that's been good. Um, I felt a little bit better about myself, <laughs> being a little bit more active. And um, I've just been doing like the elliptical and then doing some weights here and there and um, not trying to overdo it not trying to get my heart rate up too much, but just trying to make sure that I'm like moving muscles and um, just using parts of my body that I've kind of been neglecting for the past couple months. <laughs> so just getting back into a groove because I definitely want to be able to bounce back quickly. So hopefully being active, going to the gym will work in my favor. So that's enough of that 
stuff, I'm going to jump into what was really exciting about this past week. Um, this actually happened on the day that I turned 20 weeks, but I'm going to talk about it now um, because I'm just so excited. Uh, we had our halfway point like anatomy scan ultrasound type thing. Um, and so my husband got to go because it was early in the morning and this was actually the morning after I had been sick the night before. So I was like <laughs> trying to hold it together. Like another reason why I was desperately hoping I was not sick because I didn't want to put this off. Like this was something I had been looking forward to forever. So I was like convincing myself that I was fine. <laughs> um, so we went to the appointment and it was just so amazing to see him again and just see how much bigger he is. Um, and yes, it's he for sure. They checked out his man parts and he wasn't trying to hide anything. He had his legs wide open. So we are 100% positive that it is a boy. So we are really excited about that. Um, and we also got to see just organs. We got to see like different parts of his brain, his kidneys, um, the four chambers of his heart. Um, they were measuring like the bones in his arms and his legs uh, and his feet and um, it was just so cool. Measuring like the size of his stomach. Um, yeah, we were there for probably about, probably in there for like 40 minutes or so I'd say. Um, and he was moving around like crazy. He um, was when she first started doing it she wanted to get some good um, measurements of his head because he was in a good position for that so she did that and then she started just kind of like working around his body um and especially at the point when she was trying to get the measurements for the different bones in his legs he was kicking like crazy <laughs> like he would not hold still for like a split second she was having like a heck of a time trying to get what she needed there um, but it was just so cool to see and um, we got some cool pictures which I will share and There he is Little profile I can't even handle it. So cute and This is his little foot So crazy And then this is another one of his foot and then here are his boy parts. <laughs> I was joking because I was saying like how strange it is that right now we have our son's boy parts posted on our fridge. I'm like, uh, sorry, honey. Um, we won't do this forever, but right now we're just still really excited that you're a boy. So um, we'll take them down, promise. <laughs> And there was one point where she was trying to get him in a better position so she like tilted the chair back so that like i was like my head was at this end and like my feet were up here and i wasn't like this but like more at an angle and like i was still feeling kind of just like Gruh, in my stomach and so i was like trying to just focus on watching the screen like not trying to think about how much i felt like i was gonna barf <laughs> um but held it together made it through <laughs> got some good pictures to show for it and um yeah that was just really really cool um i wish we could have ultrasounds more often because it's just so amazing to see how he's growing um we have the pictures like posted on the fridge normally next to the pictures from the first ultrasound and it's so cool to see just how much has progressed in 10 weeks about give or take um so it's just amazing to think how big he's getting um, and how much more defined everything is. There was even a point where like he turned kind of like toward, like he was looking at the like the little camera thing, um, not camera, but whatever, same idea. Um, and you could see like the outlines of like where his eyes are and like the lens and um, like the, his nose and his lips. And it was really hard to tell because it wasn't like a 3D ultrasound which I wish they had flipped the machine over like they did the first time and we could see the 3D again, but um, we could still see just like the definition and things and um, even his feet. Like there was one point she like saw like his big toe kind of just like sticking up like, and I'm convinced that he's going to have feet just like his father, like definite monkey toes. So uh, we'll see if that's true, but I have like almost positive 
their feet are gonna be identical so <laughs> we'll see um but it's so awesome to see him and then just you know you start thinking about what he's gonna look like and all that and even beyond that it's just really reassuring to see just he's developing well um you know has the big parts it looks like things are going smoothly and everything's like progressing as it should um his heart rate at the appointment was about 154 i think she said um and he weighs about 12 ounces so pushing a pound which is crazy too um and it's just amazing to think how much growth is going to be happening in in the next 35 to no wait <laughs> not 35 weeks whoa 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 uh 20 no <laughs> i can't think 15 to 20 weeks to see like how big he's gonna get um just i'm i'm so curious i was a big baby um and we don't know anything about my husband when he was a baby so i'm kind of thinking he's gonna be on the bigger side but really have no idea really have no idea anything so um the closer we get just the more excited i get for just meeting him and seeing what his personality's like you know even just watching him be so crazy moving around on the ultrasound just makes me wonder like oh is he gonna be like this crazy like kid that's just up for adventure all the time or is he going to be more of just this laid back little dude that just likes to chill <laughs> There's just so much and I just cannot wait to get to know him. So that's that's the the good stuff from this past week. Um, anything else? So other than that, um, as far as where we're at with just like baby prep, um, I actually went shopping after we finally got confirmation that it was a boy. Um, I've been putting off like buying a lot because I just had this like thought in the back of my mind like what if it's a girl <laughs> like I don't want to go crazy getting all this boy stuff and then it'd be a girl and you know so I just was kind of like pacing myself there um but I went to Kohl's and I got like some sleepers and um some onesies and stuff I'm trying not to go crazy with clothes because I know we're gonna get a ton of clothes from people um but it was just fun to like actually kind of like spoil him for the first time um, so I just had to indulge myself that way <laughs> um, and nursery stuff um, we haven't done any house projects this weekend uh, kind of taking a break because we've done a lot of big stuff um, we did pick out some new dining room furniture so we're just getting like getting the house kind of ready <laughs> um, and making sure that we have like the big stuff in place um, we actually ended up rearranging our living room furniture last weekend trying to just kind of figure out what's a good setup to have so that we can accommodate like you know the baby swings and like a little play area and stuff like that so we're just kind of like making little adjustments um haven't done really anything with the nursery since we painted and put the crib up um but we do have some furniture from ikea coming this week so next weekend we'll be spent building the dresser and um, we got like a little table that we can have next to the um, the like rocker that we get, and um, yeah, that's about it for this week's update. Um, I can't think of anything else to share right now, so I'm going to sign off and uh, give a little bump shot, and then wrap this up, and then I will be back with my 20-week update next week. Thank you.